Most studies show that extraterrestrial aliens are visiting the solar system continuously and they're also thriving on Earth. Scientists have begun to believe in aliens due to the enormous amount of worldwide interest in the subject of extraterrestrials and UFOs. Several historical artifacts, witnesses, claims and proof have circulated in the media throughout the years, allowing people to believe in aliens. However, there is no official document that shows extraterrestrials have visited Earth. Perhaps the administration is concealing the truth to avoid widespread turmoil. So where have all the aliens gone? That's the Fermi paradox. Where is everybody? This question appears simple. However, it is not easy to answer. Even if they had encountered aliens, NASA-like institutions would have never admitted or disclosed anything about them, it appears. Individuals who make such extraordinary claims have constantly been chastised and labeled mad. People will not listen to anything unique unless it's been vetted by government-approved institutes or the government itself. On the other hand, the truth will not remain disguised for long. In breaking his own rules, Harvard ast astronomy professor Avi Loeb claimed that aliens have visited our solar system and that humanity has already experienced its first contact. In 2018, he wrote a report in the Astrophysical Journal Letters claiming that the interstellar comet Umaumau had been nothing less than humanity's first contact with an alien intelligent item. Experts on comets and solar systems refused its claims, explaining that it was a small black object that passed very rapidly before disappearing. On the other hand, Loeb held, held to his beliefs, believing that Umaumau is an alien spaceship propelled by a light sail, a mode of propulsion based on the sun's radiation pressure acting on large mirrors. Others believe this unusual item is an interplanetary object from another galaxy, but Loeb is the only one who thinks this. Experts on comets and solar systems refute his claims, explaining that it was a small black object that passed very rapidly before disappearing. On the other hand, Loeb held his beliefs believing that Umama is an alien spaceship propelled by a light sail, the propulsion based on the sun's radiation pressure acting on large mirrors. Earth includes various creatures from large mammals like whales to microbiological life. They only need to locate tiny life any place in the universe to show that aliens can exist. Have any microscopic aliens been discovered yet? Although NASA says no, this does not rule out any possibility that they exist. Dr. Milton Wainwright, a Sheffield University professor who has been embroiled in controversy since 2013, claims that aliens have been discovered in the stratosphere of the Earth. When we think about aliens, the image of the classic gray figure comes to mind. However, aliens can take any shape, color, or size if they are not identical to Earth's living beings. Dr. Milton collected dust samples in the upper atmosphere with balloons and a smaller sample, a sampler in 2013, he claimed to have discovered proof of quote-unquote extraterrestrial species floating 25 miles above the surface of the Earth. He claimed in his studies that these organisms came from space and not Earth, and that they tested positive for DNA. Every time you go out, you're being pummeled by organisms from space, he explains. According to Dr. Milton, these organisms are enclosed in a miniature metal globe created by an intellectual culture to seed extraterrestrial life on Earth, he says. But in a total vacuum of outer space, microbiologists from the University of Zurich sent DNA samples to play in 2014. After weathering 1,000 degrees Celsius heat, the small plasmoid spent 13 minutes in low orbit before returning to Earth. The outcome astounded everyone. The DNA strand was discovered to be intact and retained its biological capabilities. As a result, the study hypothesized that a substance containing the genetic code for life would be able to survive a brief trip into space. Tardigrades, often known as water bears, are the most brutal tiny animals capable of surviving in the harshest environments. 
they may now be the only positively alive species on the moon following the crash landing of the Israeli Bereshit spacecraft on the lunar surface. Such discoveries are remarkable and can alter humanity's faith. However, the scientific world has widely chastised Dr. Milton, a proponent of panspermia, but what if he is telling the truth? What if he is right? Richard Hoover, a NASA scientist, made a similar allegation. He released a study in 2011 claiming to have discovered cyanobacteria fossils in carbonaceous meteorite from space. Hoover used scanning electron microscopes to examine slices of meteorites and found filaments and structures that resemble microscopic single-celled algae. These findings suggest that life from space has been migrating to Earth and thriving here for a long time. According to one ancient astronaut idea, humans are aliens that arrived here and settled. Al Warden, who orbited the moon 75 times in the, in the command module Endeavour during Apollo 15, thought humans were descendants from ancient aliens. The truth is different from what we've been told and shown. We live in a civilization that is ex explicitly dependent on research and technology, in which scarcely anyone knows anything about science or technology, Carl Sagan once said. said. We've uh, also set things up so that almost no one understands science and technology. It's a tragedy waiting to happen. We could get away with it for a while, but this explosive mix of ignorance and power will blow up in our faces sooner or later. This is from Dish and News Post. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.